Hello, welcome to uh, this third video in this series on creative coding. Today we're going to explore a little bit more about how we can place shapes exactly where we want them on the canvas and talk a little bit about how to get their size right. Now, in the last video we started to place circles on the screen and we did have a go at changing their size but today we're going to understand what those numbers actually mean. So first things first, let's go on to the Open Processing website. You'll have done that probably twice already, if not more. Okay, so I'm going to go to my browser and type openprocessing.org into the address bar. And I'm going to log in with my email address. And you'll be using the email address that you used when you signed up. And we're in. Fantastic. So let's create a new sketch. And you'll remember that we have to set up the simple library like this, which I've created to make things a lot easier than they would be otherwise. So we've enabled simple there. We can make that go away. What I might do today is just make the size of the text a little bit larger so we can see what's going on. That should be large enough, shouldn't it? Okay, and we've make an empty setup section where we use just simple. This is all stuff we did in the um, previous video. And now we've got a blank um, bit of code as it were for us to start working. Now, last time we learned how to use the circle instruction and we did something like this. So you'll remember we had a circle instruction and we passed it some numbers and we said that should be enough to learn how to draw a circle but we said we'd explore what these numbers mean next time. And for those who had a go, you worked out that the last number was the size. So if I reduce that from 300 to 200, that gets smaller. Now, these two numbers here, well, we said that they were the location, but we didn't really explain how that worked. So we're going to do that now. So I'll just go over to a bit of a, a blank page for drawing on. Now, you might remember from school something called coordinates. Well, there's just a way of describing um, where we place things on a on a flat surface. So if I draw our canvas here, not the best drawing. <laughs> um, it's meant to be a rectangle. Um, and if we wanted to say that we're interested in putting something here, we have to know how far along that point is, how far along and how far down. So we can say, it's there. So an easy, um, well a very kind of common way of doing that is to use X and Y coordinates. So the horizontal direction and the vertical direction um, have numbers associated with them. So this canvas is by default 800 pixels long. Pixels are those tiny little squares that your screen is uh, made of, your pictures are made of. And this one is made of 600 pixels in that direction. So our canvas is 800 along and 600 down and all our drawings will go in here somewhere. Now we said last time we, we can make the, the canvas bigger and smaller but this is the default that I've set um, and it's a nice size to play with and it works for most people. Okay, so if this canvas is 800 long, that means the halfway point is at 400. And the halfway point downwards is 300. That means the center of the canvas is 400 along and 300 down. And the coordinates for this are written as 400, 300. 
So if we go back to our instruction, you now understand what those two numbers mean. So let's repeat that. The circle instruction says draw a circle. Those little brackets are how we pass information to that instruction. And we say draw it with its center at 400 long and 300 down and give it a size of 200. So the center of the circle will be, let me clear some things off the screen there. That's the center. That's at 400, 300. And the circle will have its center there. Now what is that um, 200? Well, it's the diameter from, that's the distance from one end to the other. So from there to there is 200. It's not the radius, which is this one here. It's the diameter from one end to the other end. So if we increase that diameter, we get a bigger circle. And if we, well, here's an interesting question. Let's make that smaller again. What happens if I change this number to 200? Can you guess? Well, before we hit run and see what happens, let's try and work it out. Let's clear that again. So we said it was 200, 300. So 200 across is that's 400 and that's 200. So that'll be down here somewhere. It'll be this far along. And it was 300 in the downwards direction. So we th the circle should have its center around here. So in the middle to the left of the canvas. Should we see if that worked? Let's try it. Yep, that worked. Yet it's it's down halfway down the canvas, but it's moved closer to the left hand edge. So if we wanted to draw a circle here, let's say it was if it's six hundred or eight hundred all the way across, let's say it was six hundred there. So that's 600 across and 300 down. Yeah, so the coordinates for that should be, the center of that circle should be at 600 comma 300. Let's try that. And run. Yep, that's moved it along. Fantastic. So just to um, recap that, because there's some new ideas there and it's worth um, repeating them just to kind of make sure they're very clear. We have a canvas and it is a rectangular canvas. It is of size 800 horizontally and 600 down. And we, point, we, just, we, we, we say that a location we decide its name, we decide its kind of um, uh, position um, using coordinates and those coordinates consist of two numbers describing how far along and how far down. So this might be 200 across and 100 down. So the, that point there is at 200, 100. Fantastic. Great, so the, a little question just to test we understand. This point here is at 800 across, 600 down. And the very top left is zero, zero, because it's zero across and zero down. And obviously this one, well it might not be obvious, but <laughs> this one is 800 across and zero down. Fantastic. So that's the kind of, many of us have done this at school with uh, coordinates and grids and, and graph paper, but it's not so different from using um, two numbers to describe where you are on a map, you know, longitude and latitude, 
or chess pieces on a chessboard. So we might have e4. The only difference here is that um, with with um, this programming language, uh, the, the the starting point is at the top left, and sometimes other languages will have a, a starting point in the bottom bottom left. So that's the only thing we have to get used to. Okay, so let's try something different. Let's try drawing several circles and see if we can make them go in a horizontal line. So let's just say we've got three circles. I'll fill in the details in a minute. Okay, let's say they've all size 100. And let's say they're all 300 down. Three hundred down means that they are. So we got our canvas again. So three hundred down means that they are three hundred from the top. Three hundred, which means they'll all be along the middle somewhere. We haven't decided yet how far along, but they'll all be three hundred from the top. So there will be 300 on the top. Now how far along are they going to be? Well, let's just say, let's, let's pick a sequence of numbers. Let's say 200, 300, 400. So can you imagine what this is going to create? The first circle is at 200, 300. The next one is at 300, 300. 400, 300. It's always useful to try and work that out before we actually press play. So let's let's try that. So they're all 300 from the top, but one of them was at 200, 300, 400. That's right. Yeah. So the first one will have its centre there. Next one there. Next one there. And they weren't big circles. They had a diameter of 100. So I'm expecting one to be there, one to be there, one to be there. Let's let's try it. <laughs> Moment of truth. Ta-da! Brilliant. That worked. Worked really well. Fantastic. Now, challenge for yourself is to see if you can draw some circles going down vertically. That's uh, that will really make sure that you understand what these coordinates do. Brilliant. Okay. So now that we've got this idea of coordinates and how to place things exactly on the screen, we'll, um, we'll try something a little different just to uh, kind of keep, keep us learning new things. So we've, we've talked about circles quite a lot already. Let's try a new shape, a square. So this circle, we're going to move back to the very centre of the canvas. Yep, that's right in the centre. Now let's say if I want to draw a square, well the instruction for that is square. And you can imagine we have to tell the instruction where, it would help if I spell that right, <laughs> where we want to um, draw it. So <clears throat> if we say um, Let's say we say in the middle of the canvas again, 400, 300, and give it a size of 100. Can we imagine what that, let's try and work out what those numbers mean. So the first two are the location, 400, 300. That's where we think it will be drawn. And the square has all sides the same length, so it only needs to be told the length of one side. It's not a rectangle with different, uh, different sides. So it should be the same size as that circle, perhaps. Let's see, it's always fun discovering. Hmm, that's interesting. What happened there? That is interesting. Can you work it out? Let's explain. Okay, so 
the first circle was drawn at 400 300 which is in the middle and it had a size of 100 right in the middle but this square seems to have its corner at that point so the instruction says put the top left corner at 400 300 not the middle hmm that is interesting so yes we've succeeded in drawing a square but we just have to remember that the location is not the middle it's not the middle of the uh, square like it is for the circle it's the top left corner okay I'm going to draw another square just to have a bit of fun and see what they look like next to each other so if that was 400 across if I wanted to do it draw it right next to it I'd guess it would be 500 along 300 down size 100 let me see if that works so it's 400 along it's got a size of 100 if I want to draw this one here it's going to be at 500 along hopefully that's correct let's see yep that's correct and of course you can um, you can always use your previous understanding of how we change colors and that, that all works yep fantastic <laughs> that's a rather nice design <laughs> brilliant so um today uh, we've we've uh, learned some new things we've learned about uh, the coordinate system in 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 this um, programming language um, and it's just like we learned at school with graph paper um, and you know deciding where something is according to how far along and how far up and down it is uh, so that's not too difficult um, so we now understand exactly how to place um, circles and squares on the canvas and the best thing to do now is actually just experiment and get a feel for it uh, the reality is we don't um, totally understand these things just by listening or reading about them but by actually trying them and experimenting so I really encourage you to have a go you know you won't break anything you know it's it's only uh, it's only a web page um, and um, once you start having a play you'll get a sense for how big the canvas is and what the sizes mean and you'll kind of build up a little bit of confidence so so yeah have a have a go and um, we'll see you next time for a little bit more fun on on this uh, creative coding course. Um, I like that pattern. <laughs> okay, bye.